What's going on guys? Clifton Denny with On Your Own Outdoors. Hey guys, so here in Arkansas, it's turkey season. So I went out, got me some new turkey gear and I wanted to bring it to y'all first to let y'all see it because I think this stuff is gonna be a home run for early season bow hunting, um, especially. It was great for turkey season. I'm gonna use it again here in like uh, three weeks. Make sure you like and subscribe because I'm going to Idaho to try to finish up on my uh, Grand Slam. I need to marry them and I'm gonna try to do that. But let's get back to this camo. So what this is, this is Vika gear. If you uh, watch during hunting season, I actually did a Vika gear camouflage for their winter setup and this is their early season setup. So it is the Zenex Stealth is what this is. So the uh, the pants are made out of a polyester, like uh, rip resistant kind of uh, material. So, you know, it's pretty durable, super lightweight though. But I wanna talk about this hoodie first and then we'll go there. So number one guys, if you order this and you like your clothes a little bit baggy, make sure you order a size up. I am a 32 in the waist and a 32 in the waist in these. They fit just fine, but there's no room for anything else. Uh, so make sure that you you know know that whenever you're going in to order something. Um, but number one, I do like the way it fits, just like their winter line. Um, it all fits really well. I like the way it snugs your body, especially whenever it comes to bow hunting. And you got to remember that's what these guys are making this stuff for is bow hunting, right? So um, it works great in the turkey woods. It works great all year long, but it is made for bow hunting. So we're going to talk about this hoodie first. Let's just go ahead and jump straight in it. So number one, if you're one of the guys that like the little thumb holes, it does come with that to give you that little bit of extra coverage on your hand. Um, if you can see this material, you can actually see through it. So it definitely lets the heat out, doesn't hold it in. Um, as you can tell, it's like the form fitting kind of material. So, you know, just for instance, I'm 180 pounds, 5'11", and I've got a large top um, and then 32 inch pants. So there you go for our kind of size reference. But the see-through kind of stuff, it runs all the way down. Um, one big deal that I talked about with their winter stuff, and I'm gonna talk about with this, is how low their shirts come. Um, I like that, and the reason being is when I sit down on the ground, I don't have to worry about the wind coming up. Uh, so <laughs> just as small as that is, it is what it is. Here's the home run though, check this out. So this hoodie comes with a built-in face mask. You can see it's got the air holes in it. So if you're trying to call in that turkey, it's not gonna keep it real muffled. Um, <laughs> what I actually probably like it more than anything else is I wear it kind of like a neck gaiter. Uh, it is built into the suit, so it's going to be there all the time. And really and truly, as far as the shirt goes, that really covers everything. You've got the vents that go down the side. You've got the built-in face mask. You've got the built-in hoodie. Um, Form-fitting. you got the sleeve holes. It's pretty nice, and it's super comfortable. That's one thing about it, too. It's like, it's all stretchy, so it's super comfortable. Now we're going to get to these pants, and I know, guys, it's a little bit harder for y'all to see because i got to stand back from the camera, obviously. So if you have an issue with seeing these, get down in the comments let me know and uh, i'll do another video where i'm actually holding the britches and you can kind of see them a little bit better um but like i said it's got the rip it's not rip resistant it just kind of helps with the rip the material it's made out of the polyester um and i can tell you firsthand it does not catch on briars very bad um because down here in, in arkansas you know if you guys are from arkansas you know those briar patches and i wore these things turkey hunting two different days and i don't have any holes in them so i'm pretty proud of that but we'll go ahead and get into this so on the inside of your thighs here, you have vent holes here as well. Um, it's not the same kind of see-through material. It's a different type of material, but it does give that breathable thing down here in your legs. So if you're hiking a long ways, everybody knows like the first area is gonna get hot it's down there. So kind of takes care of that. Next thing we're gonna go to is what I thought was huge about the winter pants. And that's these front zippers. So one thing that I can't stand is whenever I'm running, stuff bouncing off the side of my leg both sides you got the front zipper zipper pockets here um so the stuff that you're going to have is going to be up front doesn't bounce around near as bad uh another thing is if i'm going to tear up pants this is where i tear them up at they've got the thicker material here um so that you don't do that when your pants are rubbing back and forth up against each other down in the bottom of them they've got snaps so if you wanted to loosen that up or tighten it up around the bottom of your pants you could most certainly do that down here in Arkansas. We got ticks. So if you wanted to spray some stuff around the bottom, keep it real tight so ticks don't get in there. You've got that option as well. Next big thing, the other day, you know how it is in Arkansas in the morning during turkey season or deer season, it's cold throughout the day. It warms, it warms up both sides on your thighs. 
you've got the zipper, open it up, get some air, and you think I'm crazy, but you can actually feel the airflow if you hold it out like this from here to your inner thigh. Again, on the other side, you've got the same thing, zips down. You got zippers on your back pockets as well to keep you from losing your stump. The front of it is just a snap button um, and a zipper. Super, super durable feeling clothes. I mean, it fits well, it's super comfortable, and it's breathable. And whenever you're looking for something for that early season or that turkey hunting, something that's breathable is 110% the way to go. <laughs> Again, just like their wintertime stuff, I fell in love with it. I really like the summertime gear as well. You're going to see me wearing it in Idaho. That's guaranteed. So, hey guys, until next week, that's all I've got for y'all today. Um, that's the Vika early season suit. Good hunting, guys, and uh, we'll see you from the woods.